Welcome back. ANC branches in Eguruleni are hoping to choose new leadership today, but the region's elective conference has been marred by delays. It relates to the exclusion of some branches. We believe the nominations have now been uh, completed, done and dusted. Let's get the latest from ENCA senior journalist Sipamandla Koke, who joins us now from Four Ways uh, here in Johannesburg. Sipamandla, confirm for us, nominations done and dusted. It's not the sum total of what a conference is about, but it is a major step uh, to you know, clearing what is usually a, a big obstacle to progress being made on other Aspects. So, have we have we cleared that hurdle? Just one element of this conference, a fraction of it really, that element of the nomination for the officials of the region, that has been cleared. Nominations are done about 20 minutes ago. They finished nominating. Now the elections agency is preparing for a ballot whereby all the voting delegates will exercise their constitutional right and vote for the officials of the ANC in a Gurulene region. After more than 10 hours of discussing the credentials, there was progress. Our viewers, I'm sure by now, are familiar with the term credentials when it comes to the ANC conferences. It takes hours to resolve that. Why is that the case? I don't know, because it's a simple register who is a voting delegate, who is a non-voting delegate, who is representing which branch, male or female. It's just to tick a register, but for the ANC, it can take days to do that. So this conference should have wrapped up by 11 o'clock today, but it's far from over. They will vote. After voting, you will have a situation whereby they will still need to go through that organizational report. There are other agenda items on the program, about five of them, if I'm not mistaken. They can. I'm not sure whether the financial report has been presented, but I doubt it has been presented. So it's a long way from concluding this conference, and it has not touched the most important aspect of it, the commissions that will discuss policy issues. Poverty, inequality, unemployment of young people in Eguruleni, how the party has lost the metro, all those discussions have not taken place. Zwandi Lemasina is the former RTT convener. I'm sure the regional task team has been disbanded by now, Bab. Where are we in terms of your program? Your conference is delayed. Are you not worried that you will not have enough time for the commissions? Are you closing this conference today? I'm not saying you, but is the Eguruleni regional conference going to conclude today? Well, uh, it's going to be determined by the, the outcome. As you know now, the, the former convener, coordinator is presenting the organizational report. Uh, I am done with the, uh, with the political uh, report. Uh, very soon, the former treasurer will be presenting the treasurer's report. And then we're hoping that we will go to the four commissions that have been set um, on governance, on, econo so, uh, on, on social transformation, economic transformation, as well as international relations. So we're hoping that those commissions will conclude. What we are anticipating is that at the conclusion uh, of those commissions, we might need then to compile a report where we'll call branches post the conference then to consolidate the report and hand it back to the structures, including our program of action. Is this conference not going to run over till tomorrow? Are you sure that today you are wrapping up? Well, uh, we'll, wrap, uh, we'll wrap up today. Uh, I'm confident that we will, uh, whatever time, uh, our people will have to go back to work uh, tomorrow. So we have to make sure that we work diligently. As we said, that uh, the most difficult thing in the ANC is to go past the, this process of the, of the credentials. Now that we are done, uh, battle lines have been drawn, and um, the internal uh, democracy is going to be exercised by membership of the, of, of, of the African National Congress. And uh, we, we are certain that out, out of this, we are going to be able to renew our organization, the African National Congress. Are you not concerned, though, that you will defer the most important part about policy discussions? Because from now on, it simply means you need to have a regional general council where these will be discussed, because you will not have enough time to discuss all of those. Your conference is falling into the category of those regional and provincial conferences of the ANC that will just convene to elect the leadership, nothing more? Not quite, uh, because uh, remember, uh, building up to this conference, there have been workshops with delegates, with the structures of the African National Congress. All what we are doing here is to consolidate the input. That is why, for instance, an hour or two of commissions will help, help us. But all what I'm saying is that it, it, it's a technical work. Uh, to compile the actual report, uh, um, uh, including the res resolutions that we are going to carry into the next level, which is at the level of the province as well as the uh, level of national. Why so, did it take so long to adopt the credentials? Discussion and debates on that more than 10 hours. Surely it's something that is so simple. You should have just disposed with that. So 
easy and quickly, but it was a mission. Well, uh, there was a group that didn't want to come on Thursday, on Friday. They only came on Saturday. Um, so we had, as Democrats, we had to wait. And at that point, we had enough numbers to start the conference, but we were convinced that uh, it's not going to be a genuine a conference if you leave others, especially when you know they exist. We needed to give everyone an opportunity to come. Uh, eventually they came and then it took long for us to be able to, uh, to, uh, to get them registered and to start the conference. As we speak, you know, the uh, committee meetings back to back to resolve the issue of disputes, unhappy members. Talk to us about some of the branches that have been dealt with, that have been allowed to participate in this conference briefly. Well, uh, it's a variety of, of things. Uh, for instance, uh, the verification is done by national office. Uh, some of the branches um, uh, are said to have said more than five hours uh, in terms of the scanner. Others are said to have used more than 10% of the manual uh, entry, uh, which is a problem. Others uh, have said uh, over three days and so. And there are other branches that did not actually even begin the process, so they, they are not delegates, but people are here. Uh, they want to express themselves. So the, the, the ANC headquarters is looking into, into those issues there because they are not dealt by ourselves in the province. Your provincial President David Makura was not pleased with the setup here in the vicinity of the conference venue. He likened it to a war zone. High caliber rifles carried by private security personnel. That is a worry and a concern. We were taken aback uh, when we saw bouncers, foreign nationals, a lot of guns on Friday here. We thought that our people were under siege. As a resp uh, respectable leadership, we had to abandon the mission uh, and evacuate, uh, working with subs, uh, everyone here to ensure that there is peace and stability. Uh, the following day, we then advised that uh, we need to ensure to tighten the security uh, so that we can ensure the safety of, uh, of our people. I'm happy that uh, there has been no incident. Uh, it means that uh, whether it looked like a war zone, but we have protected the membership of the African National Congress. So when are we resuming with voting now that there are closed sessions underway? Very briefly. We will be uh, resuming with voting as soon as the ballot is done. We will be called through our different zones to, to, to go out and vote while the organizational report is being presented. Thank you very much for your time. Baba. That is Mzwandi Lemasina, the former regional task team convener of the regional task team of Eguruleni. As he says to us, the regional conference is underway, but voting will resume once the elections agency is done with preparing the ballots. Remember, after voting for the officials, there will be nomination and voting for additional members of the regional executive committee. I think it's about 15 members, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not only about the five positions. More positions will be voted for moving forward later on. Yeah, Sipa um, and, and, and you make the point correctly that no matter how Mzwandile Masina looks at it, no matter how he tries to be optimistic, and, you know, we, we can't expect any different from him. He's a champion of this whole process. But at the end of the day, no matter how you look at it, the time dedicated to discussing uh, problems and solutions of the people of Eguruleni, objectively viewed, that time is the is far less than would have been the case had they been able to deal with the issue of credentials, nominations, and voting for leadership swiftly and get that out, out of the way. Before I let you go, though, Sipamandla, what's this talk about 40 plus? Uh, bogus delegates being detected and there was a whole thing around a, um, a roll call that had to be done before these nominations. Did you, did you hear anything about that? The main reason for the roll call was everyone had to leave the plenary, the conference venue, to go outside. They had to come to be called one by one to enter the conference venue simply because now they were moving towards that nomination and voting process. So they were trying to deal with the issue of the Bokas delegates. There have been allegations that some people are here as Bokas delegates who are here to participate illegally in this conference. It's part of the reason why you had a delay in terms of adopting the credentials because it is alleged that some people were here from branches that did not send them here. So all in all after that verification process and the roll call, everyone was allowed in. They call it in the ANC terms to clean up the credentials and to do away and clean up quote unquote focus delegates. So that cleaning up process took a number of hours but eventually after some time they were able to quote unquote clean it up and then they moved back inside. They commenced 
first or they resumed rather with the conference so right now it seems as if they've agreed that anyone and everyone who is inside qualifies to be a voting delegate or a non-voting delegate as well as invited guests including yeah. members of the media but you would know that media will not cover some of the closed sessions all right let's leave it there for now that's enca's senior journalist that's superman Lakoke.